Hello students, welcome back. Now I'm starting with a new chapter, Chemical Kinetics. And in this chapter, first the first topic which we will study is rate of reaction and after that we will move to rate law and rate constant. Okay, so let's start with rate of reaction. As the names uh, suggest, what is rate of reaction? Yeah, it deals with the speed of chemical reaction. That means how fast or how slow a chemical reaction is taking place. It gives us the quantitative idea about the speed of a chemical reaction. Now what happens during a chemical reaction that reactants reactant gets converted into product. That means the concentration of reactant decreases while that of product increases as the reaction proceeds. So rate of reaction can be uh, expressed in the form of decrease in concentration of reactant or increase in concentration of product with time. So reaction is defined as the reaction rate is defined as increase in concentration of product or decrease in concentration of yes reactants as the function of time. Uh, here is the mathematical expression given rate of reaction is equal to change in concentration of product with function of time or change in concentration of reactants with function of time delta represents change. Now if you see here is a negative sign in case of reactants while there is a positive sign in case of products. Now this negative sign indicates that yes the concentration of reactants is decreasing with time while that of product is increasing with time. So now what will be the unit of rate of reaction? It is mole per liter per second. Why? Because what is rate? Rate is just change in concentration of either product or reactant with time. What is the concentration? What is the unit for concentration? Yes, it is mole per liter. Yes, mole per liter. And that of time is again second. So the unit of rate of reaction becomes mole per liter per second. Now the reaction rate or rate of reaction is of two type. One is average rate of reaction or another one is instantaneous rate of reaction. What is the difference between two? Let's say if A is a reactant which is converting into product P, the initial concentration was 10 mole for A and after 10 seconds it became 5 mole. So in this case if I want to calculate the rate of reaction what will be what it will be minus yes 5 minus 10 divided by again 10 second this is the concentration change and this is the change in time or it becomes 5 by 10 or 1 by 2 mole per liter per second in this case what I have done I have calculated the change in or, or I have calculated the rate of reaction over a period of 10 second in this case this is known as average rate or if I want to know that what was the rate of reaction at a particular instant let's say t is equal to 6 that means I want to know the rate of reaction at a particular instant in that case it will be known as instantaneous rate of reaction so instantaneous rate is the rate of change of concentration of any one of the reactants or products over a very small interval of time okay so next thing is expression for rate how do we express a rate we have taken an example here of decomposition of nitrogen pentaoxide into nitrogen dioxide and oxygen in this case uh, we know that what is rate of reaction yes it is change in concentration of reactant or change in concentration of products over the period of time so we can express the rate of this particular reaction in three different way first if we take this reactant and if we see, express the rate of reaction in change in, in the term of in the form of change in concentration of reactant it will be change in concentration of nitrogen pentoxide upon time and obviously negative sign because it is a reactant and its concentration is decreasing with time. Again, if I want to represent the rate of reaction in the form of one of the product nitrogen dioxide, then I will write in this form. Positive sign because it is product and in case of oxygen again it will be positive and in this form change in concentration of oxygen with time. Okay, if I divide these indivisible terms by their respected stoichiometric coefficient in this case it is 2 in this case it is 4 
and in, in this case it is 1 then these all will become equal to each other this thing this all will give the same quantity the same value and this is rate of reaction next thing is determination of instantaneous okay we have seen in uh, earlier slides that how to calculate rate of reaction or all I need to do in order to calculate the average rate is just to divide uh, the change in concentration with over the time with over the period of time with change in time in case of instantaneous rate if I want to calculate the instantaneous rate experimentally I need to plot a graph between change in concentration of reactant and time and let's say if I want to know the instantaneous uh, or, or the rate of what was the rate of reaction at when the time was 6 second I will plot a tangent to this curve at t is equal to 6 and slope of this tangent will give me the rate of reaction at t is equal to 6 so the rate of reaction at any time t may be determined by plotting concentration this thing of reactant or product versus time and drawing a tangent this line tangent at point p of the curve this point at which i want to know the rate and the slope of this tangent will give me yes the rate of reaction at that particular time the next thing we, which we will be discussing is rate law. What is rate law? Rate law is nothing but just an experimentally determined relation between the rate of reaction and yes the concentration of reactants or product. It is an experimentally determined expression which relates the rate of reaction with the concentration of reactants. We have taken here example of a hypothetical reaction in which two reactants A and B react to form product P. In that case, rate of reaction depends on the concentration of A and also concentration of B raised to power some numbers. Now, these numbers may or may not be equal to the stoichiometric coefficients. If I take an example of formation of water, yeah, the, the equation is this. In this case, the rate of reaction will depend on concentration of H2, this is a reactant, and the concentration of O2, another reactant, raised to some power now these power x and y may or may not be equal to the stoichiometric coefficient x may or may not be equal to the stoichiometric coefficient of hydrogen that is 2 and y may or may not be equal to 1 which is stoichiometric coefficient of oxygen so this is the rate law and we cannot calculate or predict it just by seeing at the reaction because these power may or may not be equal to the stoichiometric coefficient we never know in that we can know this only by uh, uh, doing some experiment okay so rate of reaction depends on the concentration of reactant and b raised to some power in order to eliminate this proportionality constant this proportionality sign we put a constant k which is known as the rate constant so if okay what happens if the concentration of a becomes one mole per liter and that of b also becomes one mole per liter that means the concentration of both of the reactants is unity in this case this term will become equal to 1 and the rate of reaction will become equal to this constant k so the rate constant is the rate of reaction when the concentration of each reactant in the reaction is unity so this was the definition of rate of reaction i hope all these things are clear to you you should go through this topic number of time because this is very important and these two topics the first one was yes the rate of reaction and rate law these are the basic for all the topics which will be discussed in next videos of chemical kinetics you must know you must have a clear idea about these two topics rate law and yes the rate of reaction in order to proceed further for the other topics of the same chapter these are very important and i hope these all things are clear to you well, let me finish with this thank you